All right, whatever, dude. My, my, my life is just a total. I can't. I can't get my white balance right. It's like every, that means my whole world is messed up. What's up? Hi, my name is Steven. I'm some guy on the internet. My mom always calls me that. Every time I call her, she says, well, 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 if it isn't some guy on the internet. Stream, you there, stream? We're here. And I'm like, mom, please, I have an identity. I'm a real person. And she's like, haha, yeah, right. I'll never believe you. You're some guy on the internet. Some guy on the internet. I told my wife the other day, I was like, I'm going to get some curtains to uh, block these light beams that come in during morning streams. And she's like, you're crazy. And I'm like, why is that crazy? That's not a crazy thing to do. That makes perfect sense. And she's like, dude, it's just some light beams. Nobody cares. And I'm like, oh, now I could take my headphones off. My ears are out. My ear is at full extension, cooling my body by six degrees because so much blood flows through them. Onwards to new things. More drawings. More. More. People says, what? One would think you did mostly characters, figures based on your YouTube. Ah, one would think, but no. The stuff you see on my YouTube is but a small fraction of my output. <laughs> <laughs> You said, I know where Steven is. I know where he lives. I know where his soul is trapped. I could freak you out even more. I could be up here. Does this make any sense? This makes no sense. You got to stop thinking that you can predict what I'm going to do. Please stop it. You are ruining my immersion. Even immersion isn't, isn't a given here. This is a place where you must expect the unexpected. Hi, Steven. Could you share tips on how to hold a tablet pencil or how you do it? Just like that. Normal. What is this called? The tripod grip? Just a writing grip. Some hold it a bit further back to stay looser. Who would do that? I'm disgusted by those people. This right here, this is ethically right. Morally right. Up here, moral gray area. Dubious. Anyone who I would see holding it back here, I'd be like, that's, you know, you might have a reason, you might be confused, but it's, it's concerning. Back here. I would never associate with this person. Behavior like this is horrifying in the extreme. FBI, open up! It is way harder to draw without you ranting about anime girls. I'm an addiction. I'm an addiction. My inspiring words, my glorious countians, my incredible world-class crooner's, crooner's voice. voice. We on that ultra light beam, we on that ultra light beam. This is a god dream, this is a god dream. Steven, I love drawing. Thanks so much for coming to my TED Talk. I'm so glad. That's all it takes. You just gotta keep loving drawing. Keep it up, everybody. Keep those drawings coming. We understand, Steven, that you have also real life stuff. The internet does not understand. All right, so my, my sickness, um, the main symptom that I've had is that my throat has been closing up. So I don't, I don't know how much I'll be able to talk. A few moments later. Uh, ascending star. Sometimes I just need to do that to clear out some viewers. It's like, there's too many people watching. Are you winning, son? Let's just say that I don't take drawing requests for money, but uh, I'm much more open for business when it comes to my singing. <laughs> Do demons have pets? Of course! Here, I'll put, I'll give this, I'll give this demon a pet. There. She has a psychically controlled flaming sword. How do you come up with such crazy art ideas? I'm just a crazy dude. <laughs> what can I say? I'm LOL twisted, brother. Came for the art, stayed for the drama and the singing. That's how I know you're a true fan. That's what true fans stay for. Voices and my world-class singing ability. Because I don't believe in the PH propaganda. I'm Steven with a V. Steven's with a PH? Wrong side of history, brother. Wrong side of history. There's only one way that's gonna shake out. And the Stevens with the V are going to be on top. V forever. Voila. In view, a humble vaudevillian veteran cast vicariously as both the victim and the villain by the vicissitudes of fate. This visage, no mere veneer of vanity, is a remnant of the vox populi now vacant and vanish. Verily, I say this vichyssoise of verbiage veers most verbose, so let me simply add that it is my very good pleasure to meet you and that you may call me 
V. The results just speak for themselves. Oh, I just noticed that my flesh tone and my shirt kind of are the color group of the gradient map. Look at that. Is that a giant dog in the back or a boar? I don't know what it is. Let's see, I'll draw what I think his body looks like behind the rock, and then we can decide if it's a dog or a boar. I think it's probably something like this. That's what I'm imagining. What the dog doing? He's beautiful, oh my God. False says, what the monkey? Very soon, very, very soon. And when I say soon, I mean very, very soon. You will be completely unable to draw without me in your ear, lulling you into a sense of peace and deep, deep creativity. And the worst part is, once you've reached that point, you'll be so glad that it happened. There won't even be any room left in your mind to hate me for it. It'll all be me living rent free in your head. I wonder how many artists feel like masters on most days. Maybe once in a lifetime. I wonder. Is there anyone who feels that way all week? Could it be? I wonder. If you want to get there, if you want to drive all the horses at once, if you want to simmer at that slow boil of artistic ability, wouldn't that mean that every time you tear into a piece of paper, you're taking a couple more steps on this journey through a dark forest? Are you not treading paths by moonlight that none other would tread, that none other could tread? Who knows where you'll end up? Will you be behind the pearly gates in the joy of ecstatic bliss and the hallowed halls of art? Will you be forever lashed to the lake of fire in the pools of art angst? Who knows where you might end up? It could be anything. How exciting, how extreme. You could accidentally draw the vision from any corner of the universe. That's clear on any blank sheet of paper. But it's not the paper doing it. It's you. Even if you're drawing the most far out thing, it's just you. Think about how you dream. Quite refined. Form, acting, lighting. So imaginative, so wide open, so ready to flow with anything. You do it every night. And you have to put work into it? Not at all. Not at all. What are you worried about these drawings for when you dream so well? So goddammit, you're always the perfect artist. <laughs>